six fishermen, swimmers, tourists, and Fisherman's Wharf have sure seen lots of sea lions. But a new study finds the sea mammals are, in fact, everywhere. KPX 5's John Ramos reports the population has now tripled. <laughs> In 1989, the first sea lion showed up at San Francisco's Pier 39. Soon hundreds more arrived to laze about the docks, creating a delightful but totally unplanned tourist attraction. It was a blessing, but at the beginning, we thought, you know, what are we going to do here? How are we going to handle this? It turned out the best way to handle them was to leave them alone. And a new study proves how important that approach has been to the species in general. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just published a long-term study showing the California sea lion population from Mexico to Vancouver Island is at an all-time high. This is really great news. It shows that uh, this marine mammal who was under threat of near extinction back before the Marine Mammal Protection Act has, has rebounded. The NOAA study says sea lions, which numbered only about 90,000 in the early 70s, are now up to more than 280,000 and are at capacity for a healthy environment. Dr. Sean Johnson at the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito says the turnaround began when the government banned the killing of marine mammals by those trying to protect fisheries. You can link it right back to these protections uh, um, from the Marine Mammal Protection Act and the Endangered Species Act that have um, really protected these species from um, threats, human threats mostly. There are still natural dangers. Warm El Nino currents depleted the food supply, killing thousands in 2015. But the report shows how quickly the population can return if man stays hands off and allows nature to take its course. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5.